On May 6, 2021, a deputy from the FCSO was conducting a routine patrol in Alpharetta, Georgia when he noticed a vehicle making an improper left turn. The deputy activated his sirens and initiated a traffic stop. He observed that both the driver and the male passenger inside the vehicle appeared visibly nervous. The deputy explained the reason for the stop and inquired about their whereabouts. Good evening, how we doing? I'm fine. Did, did I do something? Did I... You did. You made a improper left turn. You did it from the straight lane instead of the actual turn lane that's marked all over the road. Oh, okay. I'm not from up here. I okay. did, I've never... What are we getting into tonight? Just on my way home. On your way home? Yeah. Where's home? Um, Chatsworth. Chatsworth? Mm-hmm. Okay, and where are we coming from? Um, I don't know where it's called. Um, well, I was at the Mall of Georgia today, sir, and I have family down here. I live, I live off Sugarloaf. Okay. I live off Sugarloaf for like three and a half years, and my aunt still stuff down here. I spend the day with her at the Mall of Georgia, and then I'm just going back home because I got to work tomorrow. Well, I don't work at the Mall of Georgia, but I have a hard time believing it's oh, open until 1.30 in the morning, so. I know. I we there today. I was saying we was there today. I spent with uh-huh. Okay. Both of you all have IDs on you? No, I don't have ID on you, sir. You don't have ID on you? No, sir. You normally roll around town without ID? No, I don't have ID. I think you're having a little walk. Where's my little walk? Where's my little What's your name, sir? Daniel Atkins. Daniel what? Atkins, sir. Atkins? Yes, sir. A.T.? Yes, sir. What's your, uh, what's your date of birth? Right. Ms. Slayton, can I get your top out here with me, please? Just right here. All right, so you guys are coming from where now? His aunt. We went to the mall with the horses today. We went to his aunt. And where's his aunt live? After that, um, I don't know. You're driving. How do you not know I, where you're coming from? I didn't drive down here. You I, didn't drive I down here? From, I come from Gwinnett. Okay. But you don't know where in Gwinnett his aunt lives? Um... And you just know. left the aunt's house like now? Uh, yeah, I follow GPS. You do follow GPS? Okay. And you said you're heading where now? Chatsworth. To Murray County? Yes. Like North Georgia? Yes. So why are you heading this following direction? Following GPS. Following GPS. I can show you. Why would GPS take you from Gwinnett and come further south if you're going the opposite direction? I was stopping at this gas station. I was going that way. You were going that way. Yeah, that's the way I was going. What's wrong with all the other gas stations that you passed between here and going it? They was not opened. They're not I open? Just, from where I just come from mm -hmm. to now, this is the first open gas station. Okay. What's Mr. Atkins to you? A friend. A friend? Yeah. How well of a friend is he? Like, how long have you known him? About a year. About a year? Where'd y'all meet? In Chatsworth. In Chatsworth? Mm -hmm. so that's where he's from, too? Okay. No, that's where I met him. And you're just driving around to his aunt's house? No, I mean, we're friends. We went to the Mall of Georgia together. Did right, you do any shopping or? We looked around, see if they had anything different at their mall than we do at our mall. I gotcha. Okay. And does he live with you or? No. Okay. What's your current address? Uh, my current address is. Okay. How long ago did you move from? 
before the tornado, the bat. Right, two years ago? Two years ago. Okay, any reason why you haven't changed your address? No? No, that's where all my mail goes to. Okay. Whose vehicle is this? Mine. It's your vehicle? It's registered to you? Yes. Okay. Well, I, I'm, yes, it's, it's, I'm, it's um, financed. Uh-huh. So I guess it's registered to the fi who's financing it? Or? No, it'd be registered to you okay. if you're the owner. Okay, then it's registered to you. So, okay. All right. So you guys met in Chatsworth? Where in Chatsworth did you guys meet? Like, did you guys go to school together, or? No, um, at a friend's house. Just out of the blue? At a, a mutual friend's house. Mutual friend's house, okay. Well, it's a mutual friend now. I gotcha. Okay. So what time did you leave his aunt's house? Um, just right before we left, right before now. Whatever time it is. Um, you don't know like, what time it is? It's like 2 o'clock. Okay. One thirty. Gotcha. Okay. And so y'all were just hanging out at the aunt's house after going to the Mall of Georgia today? I got gotcha. you. All right. Do me a favor, hang tight right here in front of my car while I talk to him real quick, okay? Okay, not three days. Tell me a second. All right, Mr. I can tell you know Miss Slayton. Uh, friend. friend. How do y'all know each other though? Like, uh, she used to work at a coke mill. She used to work at where? A coke mill. Like a coke mill that my sister worked at. Right. And I met her to a mutual friend. Really. Okay. And so she's just driving you around, or? Do you not have a driver's license? Yeah, I have a driver's license. You do? Yeah. So, where where is your ID? Do you not normally have it on you? or? I, I mean, I just, I just come down here. I actually just spur the moment. Well, my aunt called me and I just came So, you drove halfway across the state without your wallet or anything like that? So, what'd you guys do at the mall if you didn't have a wallet or any money to buy anything? No, I mean, I, I, was, I, mean, I wasn't expecting to go to the mall or nothing. I went to see my aunt and she took us out to eat. And like that. What are you so nervous for? I'm nervous. Dude, you're shaking like a leaf. Why don't you like the police? I just met you five minutes ago. I mean, I you, but right. But what? Have you been in trouble before? Or? I'm sorry, I can't hear you. You used to be in chain gang? For what? Probation violation? How'd you violate probation? Non-report. Non-report? You ever been in trouble for drugs or anything like that? No. Nothing? Never used drugs in your life? What have you used? Just marijuana? Nothing else? Not at all. All right. All right. Hang tight for me, okay? Meanwhile, the deputy asked the female driver's consent to search the vehicle, which she denied. Why is your partner so nervous? I don't know. He just don't like the police? Probably. I gotcha. Why wouldn't he like the police? Uh, because he did some time in prison. Um... What did he do prison for? You don't know? Um, gotcha. Okay. You ever been in trouble before? Uh, yeah. For what? Um, entering an auto, mm -hmm. which was... Where'd you do that at? In Ringo. But I wasn't, it wasn't like it sounds. Uh -huh. I was kidnapped by my ex-boyfriend. Okay. All my stuff was in this car that right. was stolen. I didn't know it. And he went to jail. I was trying to get my stuff out of the vehicle. That right. got impounded. I talked to a guy who owned the impound lot. Right. It was just a bit, big misunderstanding. I hear you. Okay. And that's it? Um, criminal trespassing mm -hmm. was with the inner and auto. And, yeah. Nothing else? No. Never been in trouble for drugs? No. Never used drugs? No. Never in your life? Well, yeah, I smoked weed when I was in hospital. That's it? Yeah. You don't use drugs now? No. Nothing at all? No. Not whether they're prescribed or anything like that? No. So if I gave you a roadside drug screen right now, are you going to test positive for anything? Mm -hmm. No? Are there any drugs inside your car? No. Mm -hmm. Do you have any objections to me searching your vehicle? Um, yeah. You do? Yeah. Okay, fair enough. Do me a favor, if you don't mind have, having him step out for me, and then roll the windows up and shut your car off for me, okay? Um, Hop back out here with me, boss, and you can roll the windows up and shut the car off, man. Tank top back there with that car. Alright, well you gotta get out of the car. Yeah. I didn't say get back in the car, I said just turn it off and roll the windows up. You wanna take the key so that the doors don't lock on you? Okay, there you yeah, go. Smart.
Y'all hang tight right here, okay? okay? Right here in front of the push bumper. Neither one of y'all have anything in your pockets or anything you ain't supposed to have? Do either one of y'all have any objections to empty in your pockets? No. No? If, if you don't mind. Okay. Careful, don't scratch the hood to my beautiful car. Sorry. How much cash you got? Um, fourteen hundred dollars. It's a lot of cash that you're rolling around with. Huh? Not really. What I work you, for it, and. What do you do for work? Huh? What do you do for work? Um, I'm a twister. I work at. Uh, Love Smoke, Marquise, Marquise Industries, yarn. Which means what? Okay. Yarn, I twist yarn. That's my, this my savings for my teeth. I'm getting my teeth fixed on Friday. I gotcha. Okay. All right, hang on for one second. The male passenger, lacking identification, provided a name and birth date that didn't match the information retrieved upon verification. Adding to the suspicion, the vehicle lacked proper insurance coverage. Hey, Mr. Atkins, what's your uh, what's your current address? Huh? What's your current address? Well, I just moved. Sir. Just moved from. Oh, well, I was still staying in Cobb. County. You were staying in Cobb County. What was your current address in Cobb? Well, I stayed off of Dunlap Road and uh, And where? Okay. In 2019, where'd you live? Well, I was in rehab. Sir. Rehab. Okay. How long have you been since you lived in Dalton? I stayed on East Tyler Street. No, no. I stayed on three, two now. You know your driver's license number? Uh, yeah. You don't? Look up that address on that real quick. You said what streets you live on in Dalton? Tyler Street. Tyler Street and what? I don't I live on Cox Road. Cox Road? A what? Nah. Lots of things. Cut people out of cars. They're trapped in seatbelt after a wreck. Six years. You said you went to the chain gang, right? When? Uh, I mean, I don't know if it's the chain gang. I mean, when did you go to prison? PDC. When? 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 Mm, what was PDC? Like? Oh, Westbrook. Westbrook, yeah. Uh, 2015. 2015? Yeah, okay. So when did you get all your tattoos? Well, that's what some street road. And then, like, I have, like, for like. When did you get your head done? My head done just recently. What's recent? Like, six months ago. Six months ago? What about your neck? What's that now? When my daughter died. So how long ago was that? Um, about, uh, not too long ago. About four, five months ago. Four or five months ago? I mean, <laughs> I've got tattoos and all. That tattoo looks way older than four or five months. Which one? That one. Yeah. I mean, that looks way older. She's done with Indian ink. She's done with Indian ink? Okay. Alright. So, I'll be honest with you, okay? The name and date of birth that you gave me and the photo that comes up doesn't look like you. All right? The information that you're giving me, you, you can't even tell me the actual address that would have been assigned to your driver's license. The addresses that you've given me that you apparently lived at in Dalton don't even come close to what's listed on there. So, look. Listen. listen okay? Before you get yourself in trouble, okay, I'm going to give you one more opportunity to tell me what your real name and date of birth is, okay? All right. Honesty will get you a lot further this encounter than lying to me. Okay, I understand you're nervous. Okay, you've been shaking like a leaf. Both of you guys lit up the nervous cigarette the second I got to the window. Okay, your story doesn't make two bits of sense. Okay, I love my auntie too, but I don't leave my auntie's house at 1.30 in the morning and drive the complete opposite direction. Okay, and then notice a cop pulls up behind me when I'm getting off the highway and you guys just miraculously turn left right in the middle of an intersection. So listen, okay, help yourself out. I just went through this with two other officers, sir. Just went through the same incident. You went through what? The whole them thinking they ain't me. With her at her work, I swear. What? 
What does that mean? Like, all right, well, I pulled in at her, uh, her work, and two officers said that the car was showing up. Uh, the insurance was didn't say it wasn't invalid, but it wasn't it, it wasn't showing nothing. Well, the tag is showing no valid insurance. That's, that's what I, I see. I don't I don't know. That's what I'm saying. So apparently the vehicle doesn't have insurance on it. Okay. Well, thank you for letting me know that because. Okay. But we can deal with the vehicle in a second. But I. But I, I'll be honest with you. I went through the same thing. No. You got a Facebook or anything? Mm -hmm. Debit card, nothing with your name on it. That's my point. I, I know. I mean. I mean, the next step we're going to do, man, is I'm just going to call a sergeant out here with a fingerprint scanner, and we'll find out that way. Okay? But I'm just telling you right now, if you want to save yourself the trouble, now would be the time to tell me what your real name and date of birth is. Okay? Because that fingerprint scanner don't lie. So, you decide. You're a big boy. You can make that decision right now. You want to tell me what your real name and date of birth is, or do you want me to get the, the fingerprint scanner out here? Get it out here? All right. Okay, not too ready. You start me someone with a rapid ID, please. Pop your hat off for me, boss. You look at me. Let me search one more thing. Sensing the seriousness of the situation, the male passenger eventually confessed to his real identity, which unveiled an existing arrest warrant against him. What's up, boss? Huh? Can I get a lighter out of where? I have a lighter in my car. He wants me to get it. And then let me talk to him. Yeah, that's fine. Well, oh, you want to like talk to me in private? Yeah, I want to talk to you. Yeah. Okay, fair enough. Yeah, let him grab his lighter and then we'll talk. Right. Ma'am, will you go over there and stand in front of that patrol car with my partner? Robbie Atkins? Is that your brother's information that you gave me? Okay. So what, you got warrants? I mean, I don't know. I mean, I probably for misdemeanor. Okay. I mean, I just want to go to jail. Alright, so what's your, what's your full legal name? Robert Atkins. Robert? Okay. Yeah, I was born at night, bro, but I wasn't born last night. To ensure a comprehensive search, AK-9 was used, and the dog indicated the potential presence of drugs. Alright, just hang tight right here. I'm gonna run. I have a real quick. Word. Give me a bumps. Don't just go both ways. Oh yeah. Zeta. Zeta. Ooh, find it. Come on, let's go. Find it, Bobs. Breathing change. I got breathing change. Good job. Come on. Leave that. Let's go. alone here up thank you here
Come on, let's go. Get to work. Here. Up. Leave the tire. Here. Right here. What? Here. Hey. Good. Here. Up. Come here. Hey, right here. Level. Right here. Here. Right here, buddy. Right here, buddy. Here, right here. Right with my hand. Come here. Hey, right here, buddy. Ivo. Good job. Good job, buddy. Up, up. Fly. All right. So I'd be, I believe in honesty, okay? Obviously, y'all just saw me run my dog around the car, okay? Uh, my dog's trained to alert four known odors, that being methamphetamine, heroin, cocaine, and marijuana, okay? And running my dog around the car, he's showing me multiple breathing changes, behavior changes, final alert on the driver's side of the vehicle, impingements on the door seams, all right, which indicate the odor of one of those four things is coming from the inside of your car, okay? So, ironically enough, when I run Mr. Adkins' information here, He's actually on felony probation for possession of meth, okay? There's a reason why I ran him after I ran it, because I didn't want anything that I might have known about him to influence my vehicle search whatsoever with my dog, okay? So, like I said, honesty is the best policy. All right, I got a family to go home to. I don't want to get poked, stuck, ingest absolutely anything that's inside that car. So I would greatly appreciate it if you would be just so kind to tell me what's inside the car and where's it at, so that way we can avoid all that. Uh, I have... Okay. You have some dabs in your purse. Yeah. Okay. What else? That's it? Mr. Atkins? Anything? I noticed there's a bunch of bags in the back seat, so... How long have you been smoking wax? Oh, long, about six months, seven months. Okay. Right. And you got your smoking device in there with it? Yeah. Alright, you smoke it out of like... Do you smoke it out of, like the, out of the little rubber stupid device that they use now? Is that what you have in there as well? I'm going to go to jail for this. Oh, we're, we're, we're putting the cart before the horse, okay? Let me search the vehicle first, okay? Anything else in there besides dabs? Now would be the time to tell me because I'm going to find it, okay? You, it's on the tip of your tongue. Mm. No. Oh, I mean, okay. The search of the vehicle uncovered illegal substances including marijuana, heroin, cocaine, needles, scales, and a substantial amount of methamphetamine. Just go nice and slow because there's going to be lots of stuff in this car. Yeah, she just made the comment. Uh, she admitted to dabs. I got her to almost allude to something else. but. Yeah, I'm, I'm clear. That's why I asked. Mm -hmm. He's on felony probation for... You asked about the birds? Yeah, and of course, neither one of them want to claim it, but they both got track marks for days. Go ahead. Go ahead. It's in there? Yeah. No tend to confirm. However, neither agency wants to play cold. Careful. I'll have my own charges. I'll be 82, one female, one male. Alright. Here, fair. Both of y'all turn around, please. Can I get my phone out of my car? We'll work on the phone, yeah, we'll work on the phone and everything. We'll get to the phone and everything when we get there, okay? Just relax. I got about two feet into the car and we're already finding illegal drugs, so let us get through the rest of it and we'll cross that bridge when we get to it, okay? Now that we're at this point, is there any open needles in there? Because if I get stuck by one, it's a whole different ballgame. So what? Is there open needles? Are they capped? So I'm not there. So it's not tight. Okay. No, that's fine. Uh, since we got one more here, yeah, go ahead and just put them in cars.
What's up? A little bit of methamphetamine so far. Yeah, it'll happen from time to time. But he gave me false name in DOB. Guess he goes. You just um so good we'll deal. see what the rest of the search entails. No, I mean you're good. See you, homie. Thank you, sir. I just wish I'd be honest about you. I, I hate needles too, man. I'm not trying to get poked. I, yeah, I can go to the doctor and get poked all day, but dirty uh, heroin needles. I knew not... something was gonna be up because dude, he took forever to get uh yeah, you can... her ID over here. Her ID was tucked like in here. Yeah, the the cat was literally sitting perfect with the. This is probably gonna be the bag. It's got residue on it and plates and everything else. Beautiful. Any scales or anything like that? Not yet. That's just for the pocket. Let's see right here. Brand new Michael Kors freaking glasses in the center console. There's your scale and baggies, it looks like. Yeah. There's your big bag right there, isn't mm -hmm. it? I think so. Is that I'm more product? Just, yeah, let's just go I'm ahead. I'm going to sit this one. Up. That was right at his feet, right? Yeah, under it. Okay. Under, it was tucked up like it was placed. Alright, good. So that's going to be his. That's what I wanted. That's what I'm talking about. That's decent, decent rock Let's just keep it separated as best as possible. But. Oh, is that GHB? Yeah, don't, don't be fucking putting shit too close to you. It's got something in it. That's just pocket one with spoons and needles and sweet. all your baggies? Yep. It's all unused baggies. Okay. Good. But well, let's see what their scale says. Or wait. Give me a couple of rounds. Oh, but this is yeah. Almost three grams. What? Is this like uh, this gonna be raw? Yep. You got raw too. Good. Is this Narcan or something? Probably. Yeah, no oxone. Yeah, no oxone. He's got the whole kit. Mm -hmm. I didn't went through that side yet. You remember where you found this, right? Yes. Just so when 38 yes. gets out here. I got some large evidence bags. I'm going to go grab them. Use them as needed. Yeah, that's fine. Hey, right, Bradford. Bradford. No. Just keep an eye on him. If he falls out, hit him with Narcan because we got heroin too. Reaction like that and not. It's all mad. Fucking right, dude. Bro. K92 radio, on call 38, please. Clear on call 38. Bang. Bro, she's worried about jail. Uh, the cash that she has in her pocket, get take it out. She's got fourteen hundred dollars cash in her pocket. I I I showed her on camera and everything. Nothing in the back seat. Anything found her, so I'll get it off of here in just a minute. Boy, you got more.
probably looking at the house. They got pseudofeds. Well, it's to make more. That's what I mean. Yeah. All right. This one on the house wouldn't be bad. If they're willing to tell where it came from, but. As a result, both the male passenger and the female driver were arrested. They were charged with drug trafficking, manufacturing, distribution, and delivery. The male passenger faced additional charges for providing false information to law enforcement, while the female driver faced additional charges for driving without insurance and making an improper turn. After the arrest, both individuals were transported to Forsyth County Jail. You think they dropped off in Gwinnett or you think they picked up? Bro, they got pseudofeds. Man. I'm glad the dog hit. But. Good job, boys. Bro, I just showed up.